welcome back to the channel everybody thanks for clicking on my video once again you awesome people so we are heading out on a metal detecting adventure today I'm heading back to the beach a different beach this time not the same one as last time all along the coast um, meeting a friend down there and he's bringing his um, uh, metal tech with him it's let me get the name of this right now is it Nocta Macro Simplex it's one I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos so I'm really excited to get using it and um, if I like it it's probably the one I'm gonna go for so I can't wait to get a look at it so he's meeting me down there I'm not far away now about 10 minutes away I would say I'm so we'll get there we'll get set up and we'll bring you back And we have arrived at destination. How awesome is this? There's like a little harbour. Or not a harbour, what do you call it a harbour? Anyway, they keep the boats anyway. A couple of small boats in there, nice little spot. We've got an awesome stealth camp. I think I'll come back here to do a stealth camp, you know. But we are heading along here to see what treasure we can find. Probably not a lot, tides well in, but let's get rigged up and get on the go. So at last, we have got our hands on a good metal detector. Right, and find some treasure now. Phil's away for a walk there, and he's handed me his trusty treasure hunter. It says go and find a fortune, halfers. I'm going to scan along here and uh, I'll bring these back when I find something. Got something. Yeah! We got our first find with the macro simplex. Two P. 2005. I'll take it. On to the next one. I'm getting something else. Bit of just like a hacksaw blade or something. Some sort of strap. We'll take it with us. Another bit of aluminium. Take it with us. So change of plans, we're heading off the beach. We found a couple of bits and pieces there. What's that? Nothing exciting, I thought it was a, a, a bullet casing. Yeah, so we're heading up to um, a field The Phil's go, goes metal detecting. We're going to go try that out. We are getting a lot of chatter on the beach, as the, I knew you would get that with the simplex, but it's just a matter of changing the settings. I've seen a guy do it there. But we're going to go to another place here and we'll try it out, so stick, uh, stick with us and come along. Uh -huh. Lead button. Look at this, awesome. There on a 2P. Focus. What sort of tin was that? what it was but at least we're finding something not treasure but it's something part of the sword 
<laughs> Scrap. Yep. Oh. There we go. Coin. A coin. Let's see what it is. You got your water bottle? Yep. 40. Hard to see. We got a wee cloth for them in the job. Three decimal penny, I think. I can't see any markings on it, but it's sure, sure an awesome wee finder for the sun so I can see it. Is it? Just a wee bit of... It's a wee bit of lead, I think. Thank goodness. It shows the quality of that machine. Just shows you how good that can penetrate down in like, doesn't it? For the collection. Rolls cross, probably like... I don't even know. I'm not, not, even gonna, not even gonna guess what was on the clay, what it is. There's a nurse to go here. I'm gonna find something else as well. Oh, something interesting. A lead washer, I think. Yeah. Then a roofing roof washer. So we're going to call it a day, folks. You find a couple of interesting bits. Let's see and things again, fill this to, through the camera. And uh, yeah, it was a good good performance right at the Simplex. It done well. I think it's definitely going to be the go-to um, detector for me. So we got the pre-decimal coin, the little lead button, not a little lead button thing, and then a washer. But yeah, so there you go. We'll call it a day there and see you in the next one.